Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah ve salatu ve selam ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bima allamtani ve allimni bima yunfa'ni ve zidni anman ünnekel alimul hakim. Allahümme akhrujna min zulumatil vahm ve akhimna bi nuril fahm ve afda alayna bi ma'rifetil ilm ve sehhel akhlaqana bil hilm. اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My topic today is a short talk about growth arrest lines. What are growth arrest lines? Also, it is called harvest lines or bark lines or growth resumption lines. And it is an alternative transverse ring of sclerosis at the metaphysis of the long bones. can be normal variant. And the radiographic findings occur from alternating cycles of osseous growth arrest and growth resumption. This appear to result from pathologic levels of stress during bone development, like in disease or malnutrition. Some content that the lines are not necessarily indicate the development of stress, but may be, as we said, an variation of normal. Alternating radiolucent and radio, radiodense metaphysial lines can also seen in many conditions. And the differential diagnosis of growth arrest lines include bio, biphosphonate therapy used in the treatment of bony osteogenesis imperfecta a patient with rickets, especially in a prolonged treatment with vitamin D dependent rickets, osteoporosis, uh, chemotherapy, chronic anemia, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, and treated leukemia. Let us see some examples of the growth arrest lines. Here we see in this distal. Uh, Ankle, uh, and distal tibia and fibula, and we see multiple uh, radio oblique transverse lines as here, here, there, and distal metaphysis of the tibia and fibula. Here, another patient with transverse line of the metaphysis of tibia. And here is another patient with metaphysis and diaphysis of a transverse radiobic line in lung bones. Here another patient in the upper tibia with radiobic transverse line or in the metaphysis and diaphysis. And we should, this, as we said on the differential diagnosis, this is the zebra stripe sign. It is occurs in children with osteogenesis imperfecta have been treated with psych, cyclical by phosphonate therapy. And when the drug is delivered in cycle, then spawn is formed while the treatment is being given. This result in the stripes across the metaphysis and can be seen radiographically as we see here in this patient with osteogenesis imperfecta. Here also we can see the differential diagnosis of dense metaphysial lines as we see here and there and there. 
And uh, differential diagnoses include uh, chronic anemia, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, chemotherapy, methotrexate, uh, growth acceleration lines, growth arrest line due to systemic illness or stress in infancy and childhood in patients with asthma, diabetes, cystic fibrosis, juvenile chronic arthritis, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis and malnutrition, and lead poisoning, leukemia in the treated patient, normal variant, especially in the neonate and dense zone or provisional calcification, renal osteodystrophy due to secondary hyperparathyroidism in healing stage, healing rickets, trauma, non-accidental injury, and stress and other rare causes. Here we see in the dense lines and involving the hand metaphysis as we see here. Here, this is the dense metaphysial line, differential diagnosis, no mnemonics. We can put it in dense line, uh, vitamin D, element arsenic and heavy metals, normal variation, systemic illness, estrogen, leukemia, a torch infection, idiopathic by hypercalcemia, and never forget the rickets, early hypothyroidism, scurvy, syphilis, sickle cell anemia, all branches, poisoning, lead, mercury, antimony, rickets, infection, torch, idiopathic hypercalcemia, normal variant in your a new plastic leukemia lymphoma, congenital syphilis, endocrine, and sickle cell anemia. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu alaik.